Hey everybody, this is Andrew, and uh, today we are doing a little bit more Kerbal Space Program. I'm really, really excited to show you some of the things I have managed to finally accomplish. And I will do that first, before we get into doing anything else. Um, I have finally landed a probe, or two, actually, on the moon. Um, it took many, many, many attempts. I finally managed to land this extremely ugly looking thing. Um, let's turn on the lights here so you can see it a little bit. And uh, let's turn off the brakes and see if we can move it around. Okay. Is it moving? It's sort of hard to tell that it's moving in the dark, but <laughs> I can assure you that in fact it is. And I'm quickly losing electricity. Um, so I won't be able to go too far here. Um, but yes, indeed it is moving. Um, probably took about 30 different tries. <laughs> oh, there you go. All out of power there until the sun comes around and uh, hits the solar panel again. So um, yeah, I even have some fuel left. I could probably even get this probe back into orbit around the moon if I really wanted to, but I don't really know why I would want to do that. Um, so basically the way this worked is I landed using the landing struts here and then uh, just used the, the uh, reaction wheel t torque to uh, tip it over onto the wheels and then drive it around. Um, and it got here in one piece. So that's that. Oh, I was moving. <laughs> I was rolling when I left there. But oop, oh well. Probably nothing bad will happen to it. At any rate, uh, that was a couple, about a week ago, I finally managed to do that. Um, so what I've been working on uh, the last couple days is getting a probe, or a rover really, to Minmus, which is Kerbal's other moon, which is much farther away than the moon is, um, but it is a lot smaller, so the um, gravity is a lot smaller than the moon's gravity. And this is the uh, monstrosity that I have built to do that, and my thinking in doing this is that the uh, Minmus's gravity is so small that it's really easy to um, get too much speed and get kind of airborne and uh, kind of tumble around a little bit, and that's bad. And so having wheels multi-directional like this, um, I'm hoping, well actually I can tell you because I've already done this, I have to um, come clean and say that I've already landed this and driven it around a few times, um, that having the wheels on both sides like this, however hideous it might look, um, actually makes it a lot more durable, um, a lot more durable, it's uh, basically when I landed, it landed on the side of a mountain and tumbled down it and uh, didn't break any pieces until I finally came to a stop in a crater. So that was pretty entertaining. Um, but I think I want to make a few small adjustments before we relaunch this thing and I'll show you how this works. Um, and maybe we can even do a little bit better than before. So let's put some more lights on here because I landed, last time I did this, I landed in um, kind of a little bit of a crater in the dark side of the moon. <laughs> the dark side of the moon. Yep, indeed. And uh, that was just uh, really hard to see where I was. And one thing uh, I should note is that I have installed the Kerbal Engineer mod. Um, and that's just to give me, basically to give me a little bit more telemetry. That looks good. I like that like that. See if I can get one on this side too. Perfect. Um, that's to give me a little bit more telemetry, which I think is really um, kind of necessary at this point. Come on. And I don't even care at this point if they're even, if the lights are even or not. Who cares? Um, but I do want to have a couple pointing down um, if I can, so I can see where I'm landing. I think I can probably get away with doing... Let's see. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> oh, 
I just did two. Not four. Lied to me. Okay. Um, is that enough lights? You know what? We can put way, way more lights on here. Let's just go crazy with the lights. Because it's really dark on Min Miss. Let's put a few more on. is uh, even though I have two big battery packs here um, uh, stack what is it called? not rack mounted I'm thinking of something else but um, these two battery packs here are not even enough to go for much of a distance um, so let's and the other thing is, is we put these on we'll have these little green glowy lights that'll give us a little bit more light to work with Mm, let's see if we can get even more out of that. Let's do... Why not? We're just adding more weight, but uh, it shouldn't really matter too much. Um, anyway, we're going to find out if it does. So let's see, is there anything else I wanted to add it before we do this? I think it was really just the lights that I was really worried about. Um, it was really, really hard to land um, in the dark. Um, even with the um, extra telemetry that Kerbal Engineer offers you without those uh, visual cues to see how you far you are off the surface. Um, I kept kind of tumbling about and then lifting up too much. So we're going to have to do quite a bit of kind of tweaking here. And one thing I wanted to try, I noticed that my wheels, you notice the, oh, whoa, we really tip when we do that. That's bad. I never noticed that before. Anyway, I want to see if what happens if we invert steeler? Ah, uh, see now they're all those are all going in the same direction. I think that's what we want. Mm. Um right, 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 right. Left, left, left. Okay, let's see from this side. As you can see again here. Um, mm, come on. Play nice with me. No, that's going right, right, right. Right, right, to the right. Okay, so that's a little bit better there. And this rocket that I built is probably not even close to an ideal type um, thing. We've also got to tweak the... Uh, I should really do this in the vehicle assembly building so I don't have to keep doing it over and over. Okay, so that has to come first. And then... These three engines have to fire before those decouplers do, and those decouplers, that's the, which one is that? Yeah, so it's taken a little bit of tweaking to get everything quite right, and this is the uh, uh, GUI for uh, Kerbal Engineer, um, just gives me a little bit more to work with. Let's see how those lights look. Ooh, yeah, that's much, much better. I'm going to actually be able to tell where we're going. I can turn the brakes on, because I don't need those uh, wheels going around and around. So let's see, where is Minmus right now? It really doesn't matter where it is, because we're just going to get into orbit first and then figure it out from there. Okay, am I, have I done everything? Whoa. I thought I already turned the lights on. No, I didn't. Um, well, I could just keep them on just for cool cool factor. I think I will. We have plenty, or we should have plenty of uh, battery power to, and we have plenty of solar panels on every side. I've really kind of kind of overkilled uh, the design here. I've tried to think of everything. It's even got RCS, which really doesn't need, but it's kind of nice. Um, with the low gravity on uh, on Minmus, you can, I can actually practically land uh, 
it's just with RCS and on. Turn my volume down here. I don't know if it affects your volume, but it affects mine. And I'm gonna turn on the SAS so I don't wobble all over the place, which I'm likely to do with this monstrosity. Um, and uh, with these big solid fuel boosters, you really don't uh, get the kind of acceleration that you would normally get, but um, that's okay. We're accelerating. Gaining altitude, we're not dying. So uh, we're gonna get there. I'm gonna try to be really, really efficient with my fuel here. Um, try to keep my vertical speed at the most efficient possible, which, according to my Kerbal Space Program guru, is um, you know under 200 meters per second. Um, so as we get closer to that, I start throttling down just the smallest a little bit. Um, and yeah, we're not exactly cruising here. Um, that's okay. It doesn't really matter how fast. It doesn't, doesn't matter how fast we get there as long as we get there. Um, we reach uh, 10,000 meters. We'll go east. We usually do, mostly because I don't know any other way to do it, but it really makes sense for that to go the best way because you, you're, you're turning with the orbit of the planet, so you're gaining the velocity of the planet's rotation um, while you ascend, basically. Um, so, okay, we're at 10,000 now, so I'm going to pitch east. I'm going to try not to wobble too much when I do it throttling down so we don't waste fuel fighting the atmosphere. Yeah, that's just about perfect. Yeah. 
design things in this ad hoc manner, you end up with um, something that's really not, you know, perfect. Um, we're slowly getting there. doing here. So let's just round out our orbit. You know, we could just go straight to Minmus, but meh. There's really no harm in, uh, let's see, 85, 57. Let's see, let me get a little bit more. Whoa! 85, 89. That's about as good as you're going to get. We don't need that much more thrust. Ten seconds more of burning in about a minute, so we won't even time accelerate. We'll just sit back, relax for this next minute. That is about as round of an orbit. Yeah, that's pretty darn good. It's like 500 meters or 1,000 meter difference, so that's about as good as I care to get. It doesn't need to be perfect. Let's go admire our spacecraft here. We'll wait for our burn node here. Just a minute. Or 25 seconds. I think we're going to be able to do this without having to reload over and over. Let's even quick save just for quick save there just in case. Um, okay, that's pretty darn close. Step is to basically 
go to Minmus. So I think what we want to do, we want to burn Prograde at. Really, I think the ideal way to do this would be to, to line up, um, line up our destination with our Apo apps, so that we would it would take the least amount of thrust to get us out of orbit. No, it doesn't sound right. Well, maybe it would be with the peri apps because at the peri apps you're going that's the fastest point in your orbit because you're lower you're at your lowest point to the point to the planet so you're moving at the fastest rate and when you're at the highest point you're moving at your slowest rate so it sort of makes sense if you were really really pro at this you would probably want to line up your maneuver node to go to minmus with your peri apps and then you would be in an ideal uh, situation but we're not going to be able to do that here <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do that here really I think we just want to you know Minmus uh, orbits curve in very slowly it seems like so really we just want to align it with that looks pretty good this isn't probably going to be perfect let's see if this works oh let's set our target here just in case that might help. Basically, we're going to try to get out That's farther than we even need here. And then we're going to have to set up. Let's, let's take a look at how much we have to pitch up. Alright, let's move this out of the way. You're in my way. Um, somewhere around here, I'm going to make another adjustment. There we go. Actually, let's let's. Where's that ascending node? Hmm. I don't know if we're doing this right. <laughs> Did it so well last time, but I think it was sheer dumb luck that I managed to do it so nicely. Um, I just happen to be in the right place at the right time. Ooh, that's the wrong way. <sighs> Crap. This does take a little bit of finagling. so close. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> it looks close, but it's not. We need to go up. Okay, we're not getting where we need to be, so let's just try again. Yep. There's probably... Probably some better ways to do this. actually going to get a moon encounter there. That's okay. <laughs> okay. 
this just isn't working out for some reason. It's, uh, let's just keep experimenting. Oh boy, I bet this is boring for you guys to watch. Really, last time I just I just got really uh, really lucky about it last time. I was able to do it no problem. I don't even know if I had to make an adjustment to my inclination. approach. Where's my descending node there? Not that I know if it matters where you put this, but I think we want to, looks like we want to go up. Can get an encounter, please? Come on. You know what? We can always go there, and then when we get closer, um, Sometimes it's just easier to do it when you get closer. And that's pretty darn close. Target position at closest approach. Closest approach. Yeah, we should be able to do it from there. So let's just let's just go with that. It's probably a lot a big waste of fuel, but I think we have plenty of fuel and we should be able to do it. So let's just quick save at this point in case it doesn't work out. And wait for our first maneuver node. Um which is in 24 minutes, so we'll time accelerate. Mm -hmm. This is a case of we'll figure it out when we get close, um, which is probably a giant waste of fuel, but I don't think it's going to matter. Six, five, four... Let's just adjust ourselves using some RCS. Okay. Three. That's that's a big, pretty big burn. So I don't know what's gonna happen here. We might have somehow messed up. I'm not sure how. I'm not sure what we did. That didn't work out quite right, but we're going to find out. So a lot of trial and error goes into this game. Um, ooh, come on. Yeah. Eight. Yeah, I mean... Alright, let's just go for it and see what happens.
expect it to burn in one minute. <laughs> I don't see her uh, burn marker. That's a problem. I only have 50 seconds to figure it out. Oh my god, let's go, 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 go. Where's the marker? There it is. place to burn, but okay. It's not for me to question what to do. Okay. Oh, we'll wait another 25 seconds or so, and then we'll do that. See what happens. Let me get close enough. Mm, yeah. Still going to be pretty far away, but I think it's going to be okay. Have enough fuel, maybe. approach, I would just, my gut would tell me that you would want to burn retrograde, right? I have no idea. <laughs> Target a closest position. Closest approach. Yeah, it makes sense to me that you would want to, whoa. What is going on there? We're just going to have to wing this. <laughs> this isn't going to work out, guys. We fucked up. <laughs> I don't know what we did, but we messed up somehow. So let's just time accelerate along until we get there. start burning fuel towards our target until something happens. I don't like that idea. done wrong here, I don't really get it. Alright, 
let's just try a little experiment here. We're going to have to go back and <laughs> revert to our quick save, but let's just try an experiment here. It's not letting me set up a maneuver node anywhere there. I don't know why. Let's just keep burning. <laughs> Let's just see what happens at this point. It's, it's a case of uh, experimentation here. definitely happening. Why it's telling us we're gonna be... Oh look. It looks like we're getting closer, doesn't it? We still have plenty of fuel. Not plenty. <laughs> seem to me that we're getting closer and closer here. Now guys, this is the wrong way to be doing this. Very clearly the wrong way to be doing this. That's okay. There. Let's, okay, let's cut that for now. Let's see what happens if we do this. Set that. How close are we? We're pretty darn close, and we're even in the right kind of plane. So I don't know why this isn't. good and close and uh, see what happens here. No, no. We're totally just gonna... <laughs> this is bad. This is very bad. Yep. Yeah, we're just completely missing it. So, let's go back a little bit and see if we can figure this out. I'm getting a little annoyed at this point. Um... straight goofed somehow. Well. I do like the maneuver node system, but it is a little bit too touchy. Um, and it's sometimes hard to see exactly what you're doing. Let's wait till we're here. Set the
Sorry guys, I'm sort of concentrating here. Um, there we go. Okay, that's what we want. And it doesn't... Yeah, we want that. <laughs> no, it says we don't have enough fuel to do it. I know we've that that's not true. Okay, this may possibly work. I'm gonna find out. Let's see how we're doing on... Yeah, we're fine on everything else here. ourselves. Well, the first burn is not the issue, I don't think. I think it's the second where things are going a little bit weird. Anyway, we're gonna give this a go. Um, it's deceptive about saying that you don't have enough fuel because we know that this middle tank is still full and we really have all these fuel tanks too so we're fine and we're not fine because we don't know what we're doing but <laughs> we're we don't know where we're going but we're making good time this guy. Hmm. Doesn't really look like we... There we go. Okay, <laughs> so... Still not looking right. <laughs> oh, boy. This is a lot harder than it should be. I'm not happy. <laughs> There we go. We actually overshot a little bit. Um, can we make that encounter any better? Okay. We only have to burn for two seconds to adjust that, which is interesting. RCS system here. I don't know why our maneuver node is wobbling like that. I guess because we're wobbling. Let's uh, quick save real quick. Okay. Let's try that again. Uh -huh. Is this going to work?
accelerating here and trying not to overshoot it because I do that a lot. And then bad things happen. Seven, six, five. See where are we? We're somewhere out there. It's good that we don't have to. This is not a big burn, so we're not gonna do this right. We won't be wasting too much fuel to make this adjustment. I am glad that I put solar panels on every side, and I put these ones that don't fold out because I don't have to think about. Um, Holding them out and forgetting and uh, all that stuff. So stop. Let's see where do we end up? <laughs> okay. Let's just. Let's just try to get it right on the money here. Do another adjustment here. Oh, I'm sure we could do this adjustment at any point. Um, do what the maneuver nodes tell us, since we don't have a lot else to go on. Ooh, okay. Maybe not. There we go. <laughs> that should do it. Are we going to get an encounter? Yeah. Yeah, we'll be there. It's not gonna be pretty. Alright, let's just go. Oh, let's uh quick save again. And let's go ahead. See what happens here. And we don't actually need very much fuel just to land on the darn thing, so uh if uh hopefully we'll be alright. That's more or less perfect, because we can just do this now. And... No, oh wait, this. Why are neither of those really working? There we go. And we can actually just completely kill the orbit. There we go. Let's not do it any more than... Yep, so that periaps disappearing there means that I will probably <laughs> hit the surface. That's okay. It doesn't take very much. At this point, I think we're solid. Uh, so let's see how we're doing. We even have enough fuel left in our last booster. We don't even have to use our last stage yet, so we're going to end up on the surface with almost all our fuel in any in any likelihood. So, uh, let's see. We will wait. Well, let's quick save again, because I've done this enough times now to know that it's really easy to time accelerate too much and mess up and crash or overshoot your target and stuff like that. So, um, patience is not um, really my strong suit, especially with video games, which is ironic because I play a lot of video games that require lots of patience, like this, Minecraft, Civilization, all games that require lots of patience. So, uh, something I need to work on a little bit it would probably help me perform better in all the games I play. Five, four, three, six, 
yeah, this is what I'm talking about. No, I just have a little bit further. I could just wait the one minute out in real time, but no, that would be too long to wait. There we go. I can wait 15 seconds, though. Yeah. We didn't do this a good way. You can definitely see it's a lot smaller than the moon. Um, well, if we're really lucky, we'll end up on the uh, day side, but it doesn't look like that's in the cards, so... I could try to adjust where we land, but try to end up on the day side, but... Mm, it might be more uh, entertaining to watch me uh, try to land in the dark, so... burning until, yep, there we go. Yeah, we're definitely going to end up <laughs> on the uh, dark side here. I mean, I could keep burning at my retrograde marker here and just, <laughs> it would slowly straighten this curve out and I would just be landing on a steeper and steeper angle. Oh, I can actually demonstrate, yeah, see if you see that made it. I'm just really doesn't do any good because now I've killed all my velocity and take forever for me before I even get there. Um, but that doesn't matter because we can time accelerate. And, um, yeah. So I think at this point, I guess I might as well just keep... kill off this remaining fuel, even though, technically speaking, I could just ditch the stage now. I guess I could just... Yeah, see, you can see I'm descending towards the planet at a whopping 2.3 meters per second. Let's just ditch this. This is just a waste at this point. I, need, I don't need it for anything. It's not going to get me anywhere. Let's just turn off the brakes and see. Oh, no, no, the, uh... Now the wheels don't want to move. <laughs> Usually the wheels move a lot when you do this stuff like this. Anyway, we might get to the surface and find out our wheels don't work. Or maybe you just need to turn that off. Yeah, see turning off the uh, uh, stabilizer makes the wheels move a little bit. Maybe. Yeah, we're going to find out. <laughs> Alright, well... <laughs> At this point, it's basically just waiting till we get close enough. We'll start accelerating again, obviously, because acceleration is uh, meters per second squared, or what have you. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> um, this is slower than, this is like the rate at which a person would walk is the rate at which we're descending towards Minmus, so that will take in eternity. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna wait till, let's see, our altitude is oh, maybe like 10,000 or something like that. Um, we want to make sure we're point downward for when we do have to burn. Yeah, as you can see, the retrograde vector is directly below us. This would not be the way you would want to do it in real life, probably. It would be a big waste of fuel. So let's see, we're at 100,000 kilometers. Now the wheels are moving for some reason. 50 kilometers. Yeah, I could, let's see how this goes. So we should probably quick save here. If only you could quick save in real life, what a wonderful world that would be. So we're going, yeah, a measly 180 meters per second, which is really not much to kill on a planet with such low... Does it actually say how... what the acceleration is due to gravity? Not really. 
So now... I'm just gonna basically just kill all the velocity because we're pretty close. No, we're not actually that close. I could probably wait until... Really, let's see, let's turn on the RCS and try to get away from... Uh, probably gonna land on... Oh, let's put on our landing gear here. to waste too much RCS fuel. just be a matter of doing this until we reach the surface. We're still 200 meters up. I said 200 feet there, that would be bad. I mean, whoa. Well, that's extremely visually confusing. I don't really know what's going on there. That's it's trying to generate the lights and not doing it right. like crazy here. Oop. Did we bounce? I think we bounced. <laughs> We're still moving. Okay. <laughs> awesome. We did it. <laughs> We're all in one piece here. We have plenty of light now. We actually have so much light we are causing the uh wow. That's pretty cool. I like that. We really want to overkill all the lights, and that's a good thing. Okay, so what do we want to do now? I think we want to turn off our SAS, and we want to turn off our reaction control wheel, because we're not going to need it. And then we're going to we're gonna raise our struts, and then pitch forward. Oop. Go forward. Yeah, we'll use a little RCS there to pitch forward. As you can see, we just went flying in the air just by that little bit. Whoa. Whoa. Did I break one of my lights? Oh, let's put the brakes on here. <laughs> wow. Alrighty. Well, I guess uh, it's time to go for a ride. It still looks like these... Let's invert this one, too. Now they're all moving in the same direction. That's just, you know, a result of the way I built the wheels, having to, um, really the symmetry um, building tool didn't really work with the wheels 
just because it really only wants to do symmetry in parallel. It doesn't want to do um, angles like this. So it was really, really tough to get all these wheels on here like this. Didn't really work out so well. So what's going to happen is we're going to um, make very bad time across the surface. And what's going to happen is as soon as we hit any kind of bump, we're going to go flying in the air at 11 meters per second or something like that. And um, we're going to come crashing down and roll around a lot. Um, yeah, the gravity here is just ridiculously low. Um, why am I why am I spinning? See? See what I mean? What did, what was that? A tiny little like 1 meter uh, I can't even do anything about it really. I could turn on SAS and RCS and try to straighten myself out. But at this point, it's yeah, see, <laughs> RCS is trying to stabilize myself. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what happens. You've hit the tiniest little divot. Um, I don't really know what design improvements I can make. See, we're gonna, we're about to do it again. There's not even anything I can do about it. I can try to, yeah. Uh, uh, come on. Yeah, at this rate we're gonna run out of RCS fuel really quickly. Yeah. <laughs> It is fun, but impossible to navigate. You just have to really kind of be really gentle with it. But what's going to happen? We're going to come over this ridge right here. Now, if I really want to get crazy, I have so much fuel left, I can actually just accelerate <laughs> using a... This is a bad idea. So yeah, we're going to do it again. I don't think our wheels are quite straight. <laughs> yeah, it sort of looks like our wheels are not quite aligned properly. We're going around in circles for some reason. Oh, and here we go. Let's see, let's hope we don't break anything. <laughs> we'll let the RCS try to straighten this out. There we go. Alright, well, uh, so that is uh, how you very, very um, casually, I don't know, very, very badly land on Minmus with, uh, whee, here we go again, with a extremely ugly rover. Um, yeah, there's, ooh, yeah, ooh, that's bad. Yep, I lost a tire. So anyway, um, that's about all for today. Thank you guys. If anybody bother bothered to watch this, ooh, yeah, there we go. That was good. But it doesn't matter because we have wheels on the other side. So we can totally just keep going. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.